what's happening at the Universal Orlando Resort in the month of November. Hey Pew Crew, welcome back. If you're new here, on this channel we talk about all things theme parks, including updates, news, and even tips and tricks for your next theme park vacation. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. October is coming to an end already. <laughs> Can you believe it? Like we're already near the end of this year, but that means November is just around the corner and there's a lot of things changing at the Universal Orlando Resort. So what we're going to do in today's video is talk about some of the things that you can expect if you're visiting in the month of November. With October ending, that means all things Halloween will be leaving the parks. And although we're sad to see Halloween Horror Nights go, November does mean the start of the holidays at Universal Orlando. Yeah, so if you're like us, when Halloween is over, you're devastated, <laughs> but you just sort of transition and things get better. I go from spooky Tyler to jolly Tyler. It's fantastic. Universal's annual Christmas celebration is running from November 13th through January 2nd, and there are all kinds of seasonal festivities for you to enjoy. Universal announced that their annual holiday parade featuring Macy's balloons will be returning, and the parade is set to run every night of the event. But the parade doesn't have set hours. No, it's kind of like the cable company. Like between eight and whenever. <laughs> it is on a day to day basis, depending on when the park closes that specific day. And if you are trying to figure out what time the parade is, we would suggest looking on Universal's mobile app or asking a team member once you actually get there. But the parade is confined to Universal Studios, but don't worry, there are plenty of other holiday festivities in Islands of Adventure as well. Yeah, we're just excited to see the parade returning to Universal Studios. Like, last year it was a little bit different. You were the parade. Like, they put the balloons <laughs> in a soundstage and you just like, walk through it, and it yeah. was a great experience. And we're glad we went down there and did that, but... We're excited to have it back outside where we can have fun and experience it with all of you. Islands of Adventure, or most notably Seuss Landing, is home to Grinchmas during the holidays. Yeah. There are several things to look forward to during Grinchmas. Most notable is the Hula Day Spectacular, <laughs> which is a live retelling of the Grinch Who Stole Christmas featuring the Grinch himself. If you only have time for one Christmas related things in the parks, this is an absolute must do. Do. The Grinch is hilarious and this just gets us in the Christmas spirit. There are several other things to experience during Grinchmas, such as the meet and greet with the mean one, the green one, the Grinch himself, <laughs> and we highly recommend doing that because we always have fun with our interactions with him. Also, while you're walking through Seuss Landing, you're liable to run into a bunch of Who's doing lots of holiday things throughout <laughs> the parks. There's a lot of meet and greets for them as well. And of course, merchandise, but that's not gonna be limited to Seuss Landing because it's a theme park and they're <laughs> just going to have merchandise everywhere. You can guarantee Universal is going to have new seasonal merchandise <laughs> yeah. throughout the parks, and you're gonna to wanna to check out the Universal store in either Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure for that. Yeah, I've already seen on other social media platforms that They've already started replacing some of the HHN merch <laughs> with Christmas merch, so yeah, it's gonna be everywhere. Another land that introduces seasonal merchandise every year is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Yeah. So if you're a Potterhead, you'll definitely wanna check that out as well. Speaking of the Wizarding World, there are a few seasonal offerings in those areas of the parks as well. The Magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Light Show is returning to Islands of Adventure, and it is set to run every night from November November 13th through January 2nd. The Wizarding World does get fully decorated for Christmas like most areas of the parks, but there's just something magical oh, yeah. about Hogsmeade during the holidays. Another thing for you to keep an eye out for is the seasonal shows. Yeah, a lot of the like regular shows, they put like on a Christmas set, like <laughs> Celestina Warbeck and the Frog Choir, yeah. be singing like 
Jingle Bells or something like that. <laughs> I don't I don't think they sing Jingle Bells well, in the Wizarding um, World. Birdie Bots Beans roasted on an open fire. Like, something like that. It does, it's doesn't better. matter. But, but yeah, a Christmas set. Um, it's not just limited to the Wizarding World. You're going to have things like Blues Brothers yeah. or um, Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. They're all going to have Christmas sets that they do. So if that's something you're interested in, keep your eye out for them. Of course, the Universal on-site hotels will be fully decked out yeah. with Christmas decorations, but we also expect both the hotels and the parks to have some sort of seasonal food and drink offerings. Yeah, that's just something they're going to keep doing because they've realized it makes them money, and a lot of times the food's pretty good. Um, one that I'm excited about is, I think last year, they did like a seasonal crepe, which was really good. Yeah, I can't remember I exactly what was in it. Uh, it seems like it was turkey and cranberry. I could be mixing those up. Like <laughs> I know we eat a lot. And you guys know that. Um, a lot of crepes too. Yeah, I had turkey and cranberry at like my family Thanksgiving last year, and I had crepes, so I could just be like mixing those together. I digress. <laughs> there are going to be seasonal offerings, and we're pretty excited about them because here lately Universal has stepped up their their game in yeah. the food section. So we are really excited about what they may offer this year. And now on to everyone's biggest concern when they're visiting the parks, which of course is crowd levels. Yeah. The crowd levels in November historically aren't too bad, but there are some things going on this year that we think might change that. Typically in November, the parks will be fairly slow. The only exception to that is the week of Thanksgiving. Anytime people have time off from work and school, the parks are going to be busier. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it before, like Monday holidays, Holidays, Thursday holidays, <laughs> all those Thursday holidays. It's just going to be busier, but uh, November generally, I would say it's the second slowest month yeah. historically. The reason we think November may be busier than normal is because of the U.S. borders opening back yeah. up. For over a year now, our friends in the EU and UK have not been able to travel to the U.S. Oof. and we know there are a lot of people that are itching to get back into yeah. the parks. Yeah, the ET, welcome <laughs> home, you've arrived busy. <laughs> <laughs> the borders are scheduled to reopen on November 8th, and we fully expect this to affect the crowd levels in the parks. You can actually see this by looking at room availability at Universal, especially for the back half of November. There are hardly any rooms available, and the ones that are available tend to be those more expensive suites. If you're visiting the parks this month, there are a few ride closures for you to be aware of. Sort of. <laughs> Universal did announce that the Fear Factor live show is shutting down permanently and, and that it will not be returning. We honestly didn't expect to see the show return because it has been closed for so long. Uh, but the only other ride closure in Universal Studios is Curious George's Playland, which has yet to reopen. And in Islands, <laughs> in Islands of Adventure, the Carousel is still undergoing renovations and Poseidon's Fury has not reopened yet either. Oh no. If you're wondering about Volcano Bay in November, it does remain open year round, including throughout the winter. They will shut it down occasionally on a daily basis, yeah. depending on how cold it gets. But all of the pools in Volcano Bay, as well as like the water slides are heated. Oh, I didn't um, know. And this goes for all of the on-site hotels as well. So if you're looking to enjoy some days at the pool in November, you should be able to do that as well. As far as park hours are concerned, a lot of people will be happy to hear that early Early Park Admission is moving to Islands of Adventure for what looks like the duration of the month. Yeah, so September and October, it was pretty much exclusively in studios, and that's yeah. because that park was closing down at 5 p.m. almost every day due to HHN. So yeah, it's a little refreshing to see it move back over to Islands, and that means Hagrid's and Velocicoaster. And the great thing is, there's no virtual line first thing in the morning, like yeah. that first hour of early park admission, you can ride Hagrid's as many times as you can get on it. Volcano Bay also has early park admission, and as far as Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, they open to regular daytime guests at 9 a.m. Yeah. throughout the entire month, but the times that they close is a little bit more varying. Uh, towards the beginning of the month, it looks like most nights they close at around 7 yeah. p.m., but that does get a little bit later as you get further into the month when the parks are expected to be a little bit busier. Yeah, that's just sort of a trend that you see with Universal. If the parks are busier or holidays, 
it's open later. So I think we saw like nine o'clock yeah. the week of Thanksgiving, and that's just that's just typical. Mm -hmm. However, I will say um, those seven o'clock days, we might see those move. This is total speculation, but with all the overseas travel that we are expecting, yeah, um, the parks could get pretty busy and you might see Universal extend those hours to accommodate the crowds. Volcano Bay does have their regular hours of 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., so you can expect that as well. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know, what's your favorite protein to eat at Thanksgiving and why is it not turkey? <laughs> enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and don't turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>